Hey, this is Martin and Juliana from Rocky Trail. We're out here at Del Rio preparing the track for next weekend's roller coaster. And this is the official walkthrough for you guys at home. Find out what the track's gonna be look like, looking like. So here at the top of the hill, we, have, we will have the start. And the first section goes down this fire road for probably about 150 meters. All right, you see Juliana coming down here. Didn't bring our bikes today. This is to show you the first tight right hand corner which will throw you down into the paddock. Oh, beautiful Australian wildlife. Is this trail building or are we on a safari? Um, obviously this section still needs a bit, needs a bit of a whipper snipping, but it should be in prime condition on Sunday's race. Alright, out of the paddock, into the top section of the sand. This is a bit new here, because that was the original trail, that's now a river. So we're just staying a bit to the left of it going down. If you've done the 24 hours, the jet like 24 hours here, we remember there was a bridge here once and it's still here. what do you know? It's still here. We're going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Solid workmanship done by Garrett mid-race about three years ago. It's still there and by the looks of it, it will stay here forever. This is uh, all recorded on the Friday after those big downpours in Sydney that happened uh, Wednesday, Thursday. And as you can see, most of the track is actually bone dry. So if we don't have any big downpours on race day, it should actually be an absolute prime track. That little uh, river here is the original track, but no problems, we're gonna cut in a new one just to the right of it. And it's uh, only going to be a short section before we head up again. And then the fun really starts. Mm -hmm. Down here now is where the fun really begins. Fast, flowy sections popping you out directly at the rock garden. Which is going to be the section that separates the man from the boys or the downhillers from the cross country riders. Before actually heading to the rock garden, we have two little creek crossings. One is right here, you can see. Show you a good line. Not even ankle deep. So that's uh, number one and we do expect that to uh, go down until next week. And the second one is coming up in probably about 50 meters. All right, as you can tell by the two double arrows, we're coming up to the first section, it's a bit trickier. Down here there's a few rocks and it'll pop you straight over the creek again. Over here, again this will go down but it's not very deep, you can tell. Here, line choice is everything here. It's a bit tricky, it's a bit slippery, but there's one nice groove that if you take that, you'll be sweet. And you'll be coming up to uh, this beautiful bridge here, which will be a bit cleaner come next week. It's the first section. That probably rewards having a bit more travel on the bike, um, but the downhill section, that one's still coming up. Absolute beauty of a section. As you can see on the right, we got the, the safety nets here. But it's uh, relatively wide the track here, so we never had any issues. You stay on the on the left hand side and you'll be fine. And here we come, you hear the, the water on the right, it's wonderful here, scenic, the sun's out. It's just a beautiful day at Del Rio. Alright, here we are. That is the section that will be probably most talked about where this race can be won and lost. The infamous roller coaster rock garden. Oh yeah!
All right, I'm gonna walk it down slowly so you can see the lines exactly. First up, a few rocky bits. Once the water is drained out of here, well, we'll fill it in a bit with more sand just to make it a bit smoother. This is the first bridge of the rock garden which throws you out to the left here. You see big rocks. Again, some of the lines will be a bit smoother because we plan to fill them out. Fill them in with sand just to make them easier to ride. But it is rocky and skills will be rewarded here. Still plenty of rain coming down the rocks here, but we think that this will be done by the time we actually get to race. And here we are on the other side. From here on, it's smooth sailing. Beautiful bridge here on the other side, and boom, that's it. That's the rock garden. That is by far the trickiest section of the whole course. And uh, you know, I just walked it very slowly. So if you're not confident here, then uh, the smart choice to do it, there is no bee lines because as you can see, there's not much, just uh, high walls and a creek. So the smart thing is just to hop off your bike at the top, shoulder it, and run through here. Hop back on again where I'm standing and boom, off you go again. Or, you know, if you got the old mountain bike or the downhill bike, that's where you make up your time, where you just bash through. If you're spectating, that's where you want to be. Just around here somewhere, that's where the cameras will be, where the media will be, where the excitement will be. Whoop! Section here actually looks a bit tougher than what it really is. It's uh, uh, coming down here and you cross the creek once more. But way across it, it's actually, uh, uh, it's all rock. So it should be relatively grippy here. We come down here, cross it again. Not deep at all. Out the other side. And then up this track. And from here on, it's pretty smooth sailing until we get to the hill. I'm looking back up. This is the end bit of the gully. Beautiful section right here. All flat, very smooth. And you come across and get out here into the open onto a bit of a wider road and it spits you out onto the onto the tarmac we're gonna take a right hand turn it's uh, quite flat so you'll probably need to pedal a bit and uh, it'll spit you out right at the road where you will turn right to head towards the river all right coming out of basin walk and heading up this fire road. It's probably about 300 meters long. Obviously, it will favor all the XC guns out there. Here it is, the climb. It's not long, it's not steep, but it will burn. All right, looking back, this is the top of the, the little pinchy climb. This is where we continue, the A-line. And up there is where the B-line starters will start just at the top there, you can see it. Um, that's where your, your start will be, so no shuttles required to get down there. Mind you, if you want to ride to the start, this road is where you will go up. Remember the first ever Jet Black 24 hour race. This was the climb of climbs. Alright, bit of flat, bit of fire trail. Up till here. Sharp left-hander. Turning back and down there. Still needs to be cleaned up, getting there now. It is there the tools needed for the job. Alright, this is the last famous section of the track. It's a bit hard to tell. It is a 661S, which is fantastic because we had it in over the course of a 24 hour rain. Uh, 24 hour rain. 24 hour race in a lot of rain. And uh, this track changed completely. Start with this big rock here, and then you have a myriad of options of lines to go down here. Straightest line, probably over this big rock on the left hand side. There's also plenty of other options down there. Again, if it's too tricky, it takes about you know five seconds to jump off the bike and walk it. But if you're smashing through here, obviously you can make up good time. And then this is uh, right next to the river, so don't overcook it, otherwise, you'll be in there. <laughs> so this is where we come out, in the last bit of single trail, and then it's just a smash fest on a piece of uh, asphalt until we get to the event center, which is just around the corner. 
The uh, finish line is going to be around here, event center, either on the right hand side there or up there somewhere on the green grass. Um, we've yet to decide it, got to talk to the guys from the resort whether we think it's best. It's not going to make any difference to you in terms of distance of the track. That's it, that's the track walk with uh, Julian and Martin from Rocky Trail. Oh yeah, and have a swim. Nice. That's what it's all about in Del Rio. We hope to all see you uh, next Sunday. Yeah. Woo. See you then.